LACMA uh, specifically because we are engaging in, in a conversation that will build a relationship. Um, but that relationship to be able to be active and act on that relationship. So I'm inventing processes and tools and techniques of my own. So when you when you ask me what style of technique is this Dadaism or whatever ism, it's Dixonism. <laughs> it's, it's my personal 52 years of private study of uh, of uh, showing up. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that website set up, but then <laughs> um, I have a question now about how do you how do you um, excite the general public and basically audiences? You know, it's, it's a video generation. Um, how do you make that you know ex excitement happen in a, in a, in a traditional space like Latin, um without you know the standard you know movie time? Um, Sometimes it's very difficult to look at what the mandate of that museum is and how much work they do. So when we talk about LACMA, again, we forget how much work sometimes the institution has to do to include. Because we didn't just start doing what we do as African Americans. Yesterday, we talked about a long, long, long time ago, it started, uh, if it has not started. And I think this is what we don't discuss enough, really. How important it is to all of us in terms of uh, knowing what the history of art really is and how long the African-American artist has been doing what the African-American artist does in, in great variety. And I think we have to look at uh, why we have a problem like Bertine hosts uh, five car uh, discussion is why we have a problem because we refuse to acknowledge the stain that does not go away until it is discussed. And I think an institution like this, a committee like this, or whatever this formation is to be, uh, has a lot to do with the history of the way we put things together. And we have an opportunity here to, 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 to erase some of the stain. I have a question here uh, on the controversy around the exhibit. Was this an internal controversy or this was from the outside? The outcry, where was it coming from? Well, we were, first internally, we were. there wasn't an outcry from internally, I wouldn't say, but internally, I would say. Um, the um, lynching photography mm -hmm. show that was at the museum, uh, New York Historical Society Museum, I think it was. And, and it traveled, you know, it was this, this huge exhibition. And she came down and gave a talk um, within maybe the first week or two of the show. And we must have had about 30, maybe 50 people in there. Yeah. So we did that one in the Bing, where it really looks like nobody's there if, if you got 30 <laughs> 50 <people. laughs> So it was a little bit disappointing, all things considered, especially with yeah. the sort of yeah. things that I was hearing. You know. See, something that happens when you're a museum person um, is you put together a slate of programming to illuminate an artwork or an artist's intentions. And, um, and the hiccup that often doesn't happen is you don't reach the very audience with right. the information about the event. Uh, so, so the event happens, and, and it's actually the right thing. It's the right event, but it doesn't end up reaching uh, enough people to have meaning. And Do you uh, have a registry of African American artists in Southern California? If you don't know that out of that registry you've got this huge population of African American artists, then it, it doesn't serve the some some of the purposes that you might need to get that kind of uh, of exposure. Um, 
every museum that's organic, <coughs> their staffing with their priorities, with their changing missions, their changing strategic plan plans. Um, I hate to be so cliche, but honestly, it's really all it's about. There's this article, I mean, to expand on that, there was this article in The Guardian yesterday about how modern art kills um, ideas, and I think what they were trying to get at was that we have so much of an internal conversation, we have to take more around contemporary, um, that we lose sight of, of visual art and its place as uh, a form of cultural production that has something to say about the larger things in our lives. Now, to break that down a little bit, um, I, the, the point of the article was almost to say that movies did more in this regard than art did because the conversation was wider and bigger or even... Yes, I wanted to ask, um, when, when they had mentioned that there will be a 2015, a 50 year anniversary of Black Month, and that they're planning that now because it requires a three to five year uh, stage, then here is this uh, community of artists that have, have been uh, omitted from uh, participation. And wouldn't that 2015 event be phenomenal if we finally got that inclusion? And if they started the planning now with this invigorated community of, of artists, that will go a long way in making, you know, because we're constantly kind of backpedaling. There's a lot to make up, a lot of ground to make up. I mean, you know, we've seen it, LACMA exhibits about the Latino American experience, yes. the Chicano LA uh, artist experience, but whenever we see something about a black artist, it's not an LA artist, it's someone from New York or elsewhere, or it's someone who is dead. And just like the museum likes to um, have the public understand that they are a living institution, the arts need that same thing. We have to celebrate, yes, both those that we ignored in the past, but well, it is it is profoundly okay. important to know that that <laughs> culture is still living, still growing, still evolving. So the living African American artist today is a rich resource and that has been still marginalized, who have been omitted from that that experience, and to bring them in, this would be an opportunity to do that in a big, very uh, public way. You know, yes, there have been individual uh, inclusions and it has started to grow, but certainly compared to the legacy of work that is out there by, by a rich community out of Los Angeles, then it is certainly has not tapped into nearly enough of what is there. And so to have an opportunity where you have a large venue and where you're going to be creating a, 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 a large celebration that's based in Los Angeles. Here's an opportunity now to do that. And we have the time. So we're not six months out, which means that, that if that is the timetable, then we, we have the time to make that inclusion. We, as museum and as artists, we want to collaborate so that we look at the process and we experience that. But in the end, we have a true, wonderful work of art that expresses to the whole public uh, what happened. And, and to give it the kind of time it needs to do that. So that, that was my one question that was generated out of this conversation. We didn't get a chance to answer that because I was so engulfed with every other question. But uh, it's one that should come up. Wouldn't that 2015 event be phenomenal if we finally got that inclusion?